if you stop for a second even if you don't stop for a second you can feel that there is a sense of urgency inside of you feeling of rush that you need to do something next now or later and it doesn't just have to refer to today this is not from you this is from the outside world it's from strangers even known people which imposes itself its will on you this needs to stop we need to let our own flow speed come through we need to do things at our own pace and we need to understand and learn why it's okay and how everything else is going to fit into this upgraded system way of living because we've already lived with the rush and the urgency and everything has to be spot on the dot every time with everything and we know the chaos that causes out of it and how it destroys us lives and situations yes it works for the few but it's for selfish gain of those few but for the masses it doesn't and nature doesn't fit with this type of time restriction nature gives things time we live in a world where things are given time to happen humans break and go against that essential need of that world to respectfully honor something by giving time and flow it's inter honoring and inter respecting then you get an invader human being that says well then you're going to miss out your chance your time to do something you need to do it now or never humans give awful evil ultimatums which do not come from love respect and honor we are supposed to be an advanced species on this planet yet we behave like we are actually lower than most of the basic cells that don't have as much functions at all and awareness that we do and the abilities that we have yet we do mean things to ourselves and with each other we demean ourselves and others and things that we do with our system and of living what we give energy to as being important and normal and all this other fluffy stuff that is just complete bullshit it is other people leading other people down the rabbit hole so they can get a selfish want out of you and pay for it probably must you stop right now and change that system straight away yes but in little steps with your awareness of it and and ex by expecting that that's okay and and you expect something and and from now on we are going to start turning the volume down to a healthy slow nice flowy pace keep tweaking things and changing things not snail speed but at a yes we are making change type of speed and it will spill up into all areas of your life in everything you've got to get rid of that rush and those that don't want to play they will still be tying their guts into knots and wrecking themselves over work and toil while everyone else is enjoying their life and improvements made it's for our own benefit it's for the future of humanity let's make it clear that we're not saying it's bad but we're saying okay we've learned all those lessons and we've overdone them so many times that it's making us nauseous and we're making the necessary adjustments to live a better upgraded life with what we've learned we're upgrading our ways and now these new living conditions in many ways than one but this time we will be in control of our own health we don't answer to anybody and we will not rely on the absence of others to tell us what to do how to do it for their gain and selfishness this is for our own self empowerment and living harmoniously with every other self empowered person 
And self-empowerment does not mean someone who is a self-made person in business. It's totally the opposite. So breathe, slow down, and pay attention the next time you get that rush feeling and that sense of urgency. And you can even ask yourself, what is making me feel this way? This is a good exercise to do. Here's a little trick. When you have a few minutes to spare, or no, make that like an hour, when you actually have nothing to do for a little bit. Ask yourself, okay, for this next hour, I have nothing to do. Pay attention to how you feel. Are you already anxious and think going through the list of things that you have to do because this and that and that and that and that and that will happen? No. That, that's the feeling that you need to recognize every time it comes up. So just learn to know how to separate that feeling and, and recognize it when it comes up. But just think about it for a while. If you actually have nothing to do now for a little bit, yet you're feeling that rush sense and that anxious and like, oh, I have to get up and do this and I have to get up and do so anything just so that I'm not sitting down thinking or, or even not thinking. That's the danger zone. When you listen to those feelings that you should it's common sense right you've got nothing to do yet you are feeling this rush and anxiety we need to teach ourselves ourselves not go to get lessons or anything just teach yourself to stop and slow down you know minute by minute and be okay with with not doing anything be okay with that this is not to change everything it's it's to teach yourself how to be in control of your own life again. Because I promise you, nowhere does it say in the law of the universe that you need to feel like this and that every time you've got nothing to do that you have to find something to do. That's self-harm. That's ridiculous. Think about it and you'll see how ridiculous it is. So that's already one warning sign that something is not right and that you are doing something all the time that something is not right is when you've got nothing to do yet you're feeling this pressure. And that pressure comes from everyone's energy. Yeah, we can't escape it, but we can learn to recognize it and just slowly just say, okay, no, that's not mine. I want to be me. I can only be me. I can't be anyone else or anyone else's expectations. And if you are doing that, you seriously got to stop straight away. That's harming you and everyone else that you're involved with and every project that you're involved with. Don't look at when it's economy, economic business or something. When you think something is successful, but you're going through this rush process, don't think that that's a good success. That's not a good success. Just because you're getting something from it does not mean that that's, that's prosperous. That's false prosperity. When you can do something and it's you've done it at a lovely speed with self-respect and honor and everything, you never rushed once to do something for it and you've gained something, yes, you can say that's prosperous, but that's that's not how we need to look at things. That's how we need to do things, but that's not how we need to look at things, so to speak. You know, don't think too much into that. But don't trick yourself to say, oh, well, this is how I got to the top and blah, blah, blah. That is not what life is about, and that is not what this world existence we are in is about. If we are living against um, the speed of this world, then we're already working against it. It says itself where the destruction is, right? We need to live with this world in the best way possible with it. Not on the side of it, under it, over it, whatever, but with it, together. It has to be harmonious. And yes, you're probably thinking of all these other topics and you can make a whole list in your mind right now of all these things that we're not doing right. 
and we're doing it out of our own selfish needs, selfishness. That's true. That's correct. These things are all coming into your mind because your mind, your soul, your spirit, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your body, your own intelligence is telling you, ha, huh, this is the list of warning signs. Because of this, all this is happening. So are you going to keep doing that? Or are you going to start making those changes? That you so much need and everyone else needs. Recognize the pressure of rush and learn to turn that volume down and relearn how to live and exist in this world. Not in anyone else's world or how they think it should be. It's, it's kind of like wiping the slate clean or imagine a dirty window. You know, you're wiping the window, wiping, wiping and it's still foggy but you can see clearer you know it's not crisp but you can see clearer and the more you wipe the more you can see the more you wipe the more you can see through it nice and then you start to realize things ah, ah. because if we wipe the whole thing clean straight away and just wow is that what's happening <laughs> it'll be quite shockful then don't go into the danger and fall into those traps where you start looking at other people and how they're doing it and what they're doing and it's not about other people it's about all of us and then you start following those people go back to your own internal flow and start following that and this is for everyone it's not for people who are just spiritual or this or that or who know what they're doing or don't know what they're doing it's for, it's for everyone and it can even be for any age because the earlier we realize that we're enforcing and training teaching this internal pressure which is actually external pressure into our way of living and how we get raised as kids that's the danger and then people are asking, oh, there's so many suicides, there's so many, so much anxiety cases today, there's so much depression today, blah, blah, blah. Well, duh. When people run out of, you know, they see something that's an issue and then they run out of kind of like, oh shit, what do I do about that? When they're cornered and you don't have to know about it. But when they corner say, well, this is not right, and that's right, and I don't like that, and, and this is not right too. Well, of course, that's, what, that's how suicide happens, you know, because they're, they're given no way out of some kind of um, existence or situation, and that's what happens. They leave the planet, they leave this life, they leave how the situation of what people are doing and forcing other people to do on this planet and in this life and calling it oh that's just life no it's not just life because there are healthy people suiciding there are unhealthy people so there are all kinds of people in rich poor this that and the other things spiritual and spiritual you know ending their lives don't think that they've just done it because either oh, something's not right with them you know, maybe maybe there is something that's not right with them, but it's something that they're seeing. Oh, there's n I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to change this, and I don't see humans evolving anytime soon, so that you know I can have peace of mind. They're cornered, and they feel like they've got no options, and they probably don't, because humans don't give them those options. Humans have a system, and this is you have to fit in the system, or you're out. So let's start recognizing that pressure, how it feels, that rush anxiety of what we have to do, when we have to do it, how we have to do it. <sighs> Breathe, take a step back, take another step back, take a few more steps back, and start again. And this time, go with a flow, go with ease. And go with respect and honor in, in the actions and steps you you do take 
but recognize those feelings and start toning them down start toning them all down and there should be no exception where your rush pressure is oh no but that's this and that's different i have to do it for that oh but no but don't make excuses start toning that down and the other thing is stop finding faults when people for example like myself you know the angels and our ancestors are coming through the god light is coming through and and i'm the mouth for it i'm only one of many don't find faults in things recognize that okay yes i understand that you know but don't find faults deliberately in things what are you trying to prove you it, that's just self sabotage and you're just trying to talk yourself out self out of common sense and you're staying deep into that system again the system that's destroying everyone and causing everyone sick and when people get sick and contagious and this and that that's where it all comes from it's not from one little thing none of our diseases are because oh because of this you got this disease and you've contracted that no it's everyone's electromagnetic energy it, we all push our immune systems down and we start to get things and that also applies to the weather it's all electromagnetic energy read up on your science what are, what's what are things driven by powered by it's electromagnetic energy it's all out into space and it's all out in our cells and bodies so take steps every day just in little in little doses in little doses until you get the hang of things and and you set the tone for everything around you and everyone you're involved in and 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 just start turning that value, volume down of that rush anxiety feeling that you need to do this right away or this now you need to find something else to do that is something that fogs our entire systems up whether it's our blood flow our spiritual energy our own physical energy our soul all that stuff mind fog that clogs those systems up so start turning that down and and then you will know and you will feel slowly through time you will feel this hmm okay you know what i'm kind of still doing similar things but i'm not as stressed out as before <laughs> and you'll start to giggle to yourself and think oh that's so easy why did we do that it's just a trap it's just you know insecurity and all that stuff that I've already mentioned start toning that volume down know that feeling get rid of it breathe on purpose more one or two breaths every now and then and that's really it And as you get better at that, you'll be able to control those awful emotions and moods that you get into. You know, you'll be able to... They just won't be entering into you as much. You won't have to do anything, really. It'll just become part of your... Not become, sorry. Where it's like throwing compost on a plant. Yes, it's great, but then you put so much compost that it's a massive compost pile. We need to get rid of that compost pile, so to speak, on our energy. And then uh, your own natural abilities will come up. That is what I'm trying to say. It's not that you will become this better person. Your own natural better person just comes out. It's already part of you. But it's been covered up by humanity's ways. So this is the difference with what you're hearing now and learning now. You're getting rid of that compost and just letting your own you, you the you that you've never, you've kind of thought, but you've never actually been guessed or felt that you were. You, you never knew this power inside of you. And it's just electromagnetic energy and it's just your essence. Let that come through. Get rid of the compost and let that come through. That's all we're saying. So here's a few ways that can help you along your journey. When you're driving somewhere, give yourself 
an extra half an hour or 40 minutes better or an hour earlier and enjoy the drive drive slower briefly look around and just relax so there is no crap pressure feeling when you're driving and others with the crap rushing around you speeding panicking trying to get where they're trying to go they can just flow away around you and away from you no stress it's not your stress that's their stress that problem is theirs not yours and then you can get to your destination as if you were driving to your holiday destination so when you get there your energy is fuller it's pure you have more time there's no rush sensation in your body and in your soul take the time out give extra time to things before and after so that you can also stop and pay attention to subtle things around you that actually have significant meaning and maybe some kind of not maybe but will have some kind of benefit to you as well as those who you'll interact with over there you could go get a drink or a bite you could go to the toilet or just walk around and enjoy the sights or discover something you never would have before even talk to someone that you never would have before you might meet people you're opening your life stream flow to possibilities opportunities and you're telling life hey i'm welcoming these beautiful things i'm in a state where i can actually feel recognize and accept them go early and let your energy tame down to balance and harmonize with things.